Hello everyone, welcome to Daisy Case Primitives. My name is Christy. Today is Independence Day in the U.S., July 4th, 2024. And I thought I would just um, take some time before we head out for festivities later and try to get some, uh, get a floss tube up and, and out. We're going to go to our uh, youngest daughter's home this evening. They're going to have a food a cookout and then we'll watch the fireworks. They live in a, in a larger town nearby us and in a subdivision and they are kind of up on a hill that overlooks the whole town. So they have a really good vantage point for watching all the small town fireworks. So that'll be fun. I haven't really been doing a whole lot today. Just kind of taking it easy and uh, doing a little stitching. So I thought I'm just gonna I'm gonna do this. So here we go. I think this is probably floss tube number 64, I believe, somewhere around there. Um, first thing I want to show you is um, I have a shop that I really like on Etsy that creates primitive um, sculptured dolls and it is called Sisters Prim and Rose. I will link it below. Um, maybe not exactly today, but I'll get it there. But anyway, I just got this Uncle Sam and he is, he's really great. Her quality of work is, I, I just really like it. It's, she does a wonderful job her prices are exceptional and <laughs> he's just so cute. Look at that face. There's the back of his hair. It's all curly. Look at his coat. This is all, this is all painted, but his lapels are stitched on. And then he's got some French knots for buttons. And this little flag poked in his lapel and can't quite see but he's got a he's got a bow tie on oh, it's just so cute I love her things I've purchased several from her in the past I've tried I've made a few dolls of my own and I I can't even get close to them looking nice enough but so he's really cute and she still has some in her Etsy shop. So, Sisters Prim, yeah, Sisters Prim and Rose, but I'll link it below. And this little cutie came with him, a little witchy doll. She reminds me of um, Fancy Blackett. And I, I've stitched what, one or two Fancy Blackett charts and, uh, I'm going to be doing some more. Of course, I have several in my stash, but I just thought she was cute and reminded me of her. thought she would look really good with the display of fancy stitches. Cute. She's very reasonably priced. Everything is. So anyway, I just wanted to show that. So um, let's see. I've been stitching quite a bit. Um, <clears throat> I don't even know really what, what to do here. So we'll just jump in. Um, okay. So we, Shanda stitching in Idaho and I have been working on the Noel sampler. Excuse me. We do homework assignments, just different sections split up throughout the year. And June's was, June's was this side, the tree and the deer. And then July's is this fruit basket, berry basket, berry urn, whatever that is. Anyway, this, <laughs> this is the Noel Sampler by Brenda Gervais with thy needle and thread. And I'm using DMCs. I think that's what it's called for. Let me verify that. Yep, 
from C. I'm stitching this on a 36 count piece of biscuit from Seraphim. And here's my latest. So last time, I don't think I had, I don't think I had everything finished up for June or if at all. So June's part with the Darren tree is done, trees. And I'm working now on the berry basket. So I'll try to get this closer for you. I love this. This is such a pretty sampler. The colors are just beautiful. I don't, I just, I don't know if it's this linen that's just really, sorry, I'm trying to get it flattened out here a little better. I don't know if it is this fabric that's just, I can't say enough about this. I love how this is turning out and it's so pleasant to stitch and it's been surprising to me in how breaking it down into sections, it has been so manageable. It really is a pretty good size sampler, but when, you know, splitting it up and doing it in sections, um, I'm really enjoying doing that with some Christmas, larger Christmas pieces. I don't get, I tend to like to stitch in the season or, or just ahead of the season because right now I'm kind of getting antsy to do some Halloween stitching. But so I like to stitch a little bit ahead of the season or in season. And so you might think that, well, this is Christmas and you've been doing this all year long. It, it hasn't bothered me so much. And I think it's because I'm doing it in small increments, small sections. Um, it just feels like it's coming together and finishing up so quickly. So anyway, love that. That's that project homework done. The next thing that I finished was Little Robin's Designs, Little Liberties. Love these. Remind me of coverlets antique woven coverlets. Now, I stitched this on a 36 count Brea by Needle and Flax. And here's my finish. I chose to put them all in a line in a row together because I, I have this idea. I first thought maybe I would make a long pillow out of this finish. But now the more that I think about it, I think I wanna make a drum. I think it would be a nice drum, nice size drum. Try to mimic it here. I was a little, not really worried, but concerned that these sides would not equal out like this, this section and this section, but it all came out nicely. Um, what did I use for the, the flosses? Indian Summer and Blacksmith Blue, I think. I said on the last uh, video, but I think that's what, what it was. I love these. They're so cute. They're so pretty. And this, this Brea fabric is just perfect for this. So here's my thinking. I've only made a few stand-ups. And I, I really think I want it in a drum. So I purchased this coverlet runner. And I think I want to put, I want to use this coverlet as part of the drum. Now, I'm not sure if I want to have the top and the bottom of the drum with the coverlet. Of course, you wouldn't see a whole lot of it. You wouldn't see much of the pattern. I love this textile pattern, woven pattern. Um, so I've thought about maybe putting it on 
the coverlet like this. I'm letting a little bit of it show above and below and then the top, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I just had this idea and because this reminded me of coverlets, I just thought it would be really pretty finished with this. So I don't know, it may end up being a pillow. I don't know. Well, tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. Should it be a pillow? Should it be a drum? I don't know. I may have to uh, send it off to someone and see what they can do with it. And, Cause I want it to be, I want it to look nice. It's, it's a very pretty stitch. So I want it to finish cool, nicely. Uh, let's see, last time I talked about this guy, I had stitched him, but I hadn't totally fully finished him. Mm -hmm. What is this? Might be Uncle Sam. This was in my last video. Uh, Country Rustic is the designer. It was kind of wonkity-fied. Um, I've had this one done before. I think I did her last year. These are both stitched on 32 count uh, white linen and I coffee dyed each one. You can see the difference. This one came out darker. I did her last year. These the most recent. I put some uh, rickrack around the edge, backed it with ticking, both of them. So he wasn't fully finished last time we talked. Here he is now, love him. And their cute my pair. next finish was Grand Old Flag 2 with my needle and thread. Yep, Grand Old Flag 2. This is new from this year. Last video, I only had two, pretty much two stitched. I had this one completed, stitching, and this one was just about done. So it's all done. And then here is the flag. So they're all three complete. I stitched these on a 36 count piece of Boston linen from Seraphim. And I backed them with two of them with this blue. These little tags are iron on tags that you can buy from Ever Emblem on Etsy that you can customize. So I've got those on there and I use some purple paper mountain trims, kind of like a yarny trim. On that one it matched the um, that is DMC number 22 red floss so that matched really well this one I just put a little bow with some bells tied on the ends and pinned it with a little rusty pin sorry you might hear my husband in the other room he's in there with the dogs watching something and he's laughing <laughs> and the last one trimmed up with kind of a gray, blue, gray, purple paper mountain trim, some ticking, and one of my tags. And I really like how these look. I will, if you haven't already seen a photo of these at the beginning of the video, I'll maybe pop the picture in here and you can see how I display them, but love these, love these. So happy to have another patriotic finish this year to display. Okay, next thing that I worked on is E Pluribus Unum from Summer House and Stitch you Works. You can find it from Silver Needle or Welcome Stitchery. So mine I am stitching on, where is the tag? This is Cinnamon Biscuits Hand Dyed Linen by E Designs, and it is 36 count. This is the tag that it came with. I've stitched something on this in the past and had a hard time finding this linen. And a viewer did tell me where, where it was found, but I can't find that comment now. Anyway, here's what I've gotten done. Put this behind 
it. This is what I have finished. I love this. I love this linen. Last time we talked, I'd shared that I had the had purchased the pat, the chart pattern and was debating on what fabric I was going to use and I'm so glad I decided to go with this. Um it's got some like blue, really dark, maybe, maybe like a gray modeling in it. Uh, it's just perfect for this stitch. So here's what I've gotten accomplished. This star I need to take out. I got it in the wrong, no, that's in the wrong place. So I need to remove that. This has been a little challenging for me in that the pattern is very small print. It's all, it's all within this card on this side. Um, so I've had to make a copy and kind of mark it as I go along in the stitching. So I just kind of outline where I can and then fill in. But um, yeah, it's been, it's kind of tiny and a little bit hard for me to see. So maybe, maybe not for you, but oh, I love this. I'm using Weeks, verify this, yes, Weeks Coal for my flosses, or my floss, it just calls for one floss. Here's a little um, patriotic floss ring that I made. Cute, oh, Lady Liberty. So that's been a whip and it's beautiful. Now, I think I'm, I think I'm all finished with patriotic Americana stitching. So this little guy is probably gonna go in the bag and stay there till next year, which that's okay with me. I'm not in a big, big hurry to get him done, but love that. Love it, love it. And my Shanda bag, love it. Okay. Um, talked with you last time about, I shared all the uh, eagle patterns, or not all of them, but most of them that I liked. Um, and another stitching friend shared with me these. So of course I had to go and get them. These are Siren Stitchworks, a Congress of Eagles, five designs. Oh, look at that. Some more eagles that remind me of coverlets. Oh, so good. This one's just, that one, I mean, they're all great, but I really like this one, this one, and this one. So I could see those three all stitched together, or displayed together, all displayed together. I won't stitch them together. That's just beautiful. So these are PDFs. They're in the works. They're in the, they're in the order, in the lineup. So, I wanted to go find, let's look at this again. So we have one that's stitched on blue and red. And I haven't looked at the pattern closely enough to see what they say the models were stitched on. Let me see if I can find that quickly and easily enough without taking a whole lot of time. So I, I wanted to go on the hunt to find some fabrics. I knew I probably wouldn't start them, although they were tempting. I didn't print off all of that detail. Anywho, this is a piece of Seraphim's Crepe and it is 36 count. I won't stitch the mine on any of the lighter whites, but I thought this would be pretty because it's kind of um, like a 
brick undertones to it. So I like that. And then I went to one, two, three stitch and I bought these little pieces. Of course, these, these pillows are not that large. So these will be fine, but I got, um, picture this plus, this is 40 count nocturne. Love that. And then I got, uh, let's see, what is this? Not sure who makes this, but it is 32 count blue spruce. So it's it's not modeled or faded in any way. So there's that. I'll try to line these up on this thing and we can look at them all together here in a second. Then I got weeks. 35 count red pear. So it's a little more washed out. Faded look. And I got Weeks 36 count Aztec. So, let's see if I can hold these up. How am I going to do this? Let's do it this way. Maybe this will work. So here's the combination. <laughs> here's the combination. I will probably use, I really like this one. I love this. And I'm thinking I'll use this. But I'll have the other two in case later on I decide to stitch all five, the other ones. So those are the fabrics that I found for future a Congress of Eagles stitching. I love these little, these little pieces. What are these? An eighth? You get a really, they're economical and you can get a good idea, you know, what, what the linen really looks like, what it feels like, what it looks like. So it's not spending a whole lot of money on trying to get a true idea of fabrics. So that's that's something in the works. And I had to get this bag. This bag is from Joyful Stitching. Teresa Kogut fabric line, love that. So all of these goodies go in here and I am all set for next year stitching a Congress of Eagles. So I'm ready to go. Also, this part of haul, got this beautiful book. Oh my gosh. This is just, this is just a work of art in itself. <laughs> Um, Teresa Kogut's Hello America. There are seven cross stitch designs in here. I love this. I love this one. That is just beautiful. Love that. I don't know how everybody feels about this, but I kind of like to see. Now, Teresa may have already done this. She may have done a flip through to show you what all designs in the, are in there, and I didn't catch it, but I like to see what else is in the books to know what all is in here. So I'm, I'm going to share. I think it just helps promote the book and help sell the book. So this is of the I seen. Gosh, it's so pretty. And she has her artwork splattered around in the whole book. This one's beautiful. This is called Allegiance. For you and me, that one's really neat. I have a big star, a wood star cut out. 
cute. And folksy patriots. Oh, this one's really cute. Folksy patriots. Oh, so cute. Ah, I said I was all done with patriotic stitching. This one's a little tempting. <laughs> And this one's great. Mr. and Mrs. Old Glory. This might have been on her Patreon. Seems like it was. That's just so cute. And you could pull out different aspects of this. Like you could just stitch a girl, Uncle Sam. You could just do this house and the eagle. You could just do the wording. Love that. And then here's the, the sampler that's on the cover. Her charts are wonderful. They're nicely done. You can read them well. They're colored. I just, well worth the money spent on this one. Love this. So I have quite a bit of patriotic stitching that I can work on. Wanted to share another bag that I have to have. This is from Sherry So Sweet, S E W So. Love that. So I'm gonna have to change this. I'm gonna have to put Teresa Kogut's book in Teresa Kogut bag and then put the Congress of Eagles in this one. I think that's what I need to do. So love this. Love this. Look at this. Okay, so that's all my patriotic Americana stitching. So now here it is July, and now there's Christmas in July stitching. So I thought I would show you what I'm going to be working on. I'll continue working on the Noel sampler with Shanda doing our homework. And I have been, I think it was last year, last July, that I started working on um, the Prairie Schoolers. And I have a bunch of these Santas revisited. I think I have, I think I have them all. So I need to pick out one of those to stitch. And this is the one that I did last year. I, I shared this before, but this is the Santa that I chose last year. And I don't remember now which one he is without digging it out. This is on uh, 36 count Bunny Mom from XJU Designs. So I have this whole piece that I'll continue on. And I bought another piece of Bunny Mom and it wasn't even close, not even close to that, that first piece that I bought, but so for my Christmas in July, I'll be pulling out or choosing another one, another one of these from the Santas Revisited, the yearly Santas, and I'll be working on one of those. And it is housed in the Teresa Kogut's, I think this was the North Pole. I'm not sure what this fabric line was. I've got all my DMC. And I think that is a piece of, um, let's see, that's a piece of r, r Vintage Honey. It's close to this one that I worked on, the, the Bunny Mom. So I'll be picking out one of these and starting it. Excuse me. Okay. Then, last year, I started working on, for Christmas in July, I believe, it may have been Christmas time, the Father Christmas from Prairie Schooler. I've done this one. Let's see here. done this one and this one 
And now I think the one I'm working on is this one. And these are stitched on 36 count color and cottons oatmeal. I love this. I need to get some more of this. This is a really good, I started stitching something else up here and then changed my mind. This is a really nice neutral. So this was, I think this was the first one that I had done. And I'm using, uh, I'm pulling my own variegated flosses. Another one that I finished last year. And then this is the next one that I started. So I, I want to finish this one. And I'm not sure if I will find, if I'll choose two more of these to stitch. I like to do things in odds. Um, I'm told that designers will recommend that you do things or display things in odd numbers. So I may pick out two more of these, probably another red one and I don't know. I'll probably do this one and this one. But so I will be working on those this month of July to get some Christmas in July stitching done. And then the last thing that I started already, started this on the first because I was waiting, was impatiently waiting for July 1st to roll around so I could start this. And this is Stacy Nash's Merry Merry Pen Keep. Tara Sullivan shared this on um, her last video or next to last video that this was a finish and she framed it and it was beautiful and that was all I needed to push me over the edge to decide this is what I wanted to do. So I gathered up all of the DMC. Now I've got some DMC laying here. <laughs> do those go with the Santas or do those go with, yep. The DMC I have laying here on the table goes with this Merry Merry Pinky. So I'm using DMC, and I think that may be what it calls for. Yeah, all DMC. And here's my start. And this is on a 36 count R&R Patriot, Patriots Brew. And there is my start. That reindeer, what do we got going here? Okay, yep, that all belongs there. <laughs> that reindeer is so pretty. And this part of the border with the, the like the ivy, or not ivy, kind of like holly and the ribbons. Oh my, that is so pretty. Then I'm getting started on the, the big house, but look at that reindeer, isn't it beautiful? That would be a pretty little ornament right there. You can maybe center this up with the other side above him. Maybe put the same thing below, upside down. Oh, that'd be pretty. Anyway, sorry. I'm always thinking of other things that I could stitch from these patterns. So that's my start on Mary Mary Pinky. It's gonna be purdy. It'll be purtiful. I don't know how you guys feel, but like on Instagram, I see everybody's beautiful stitching and I just comment the same, same remarks or compliments like beautiful, lovely, gorgeous, stunning. We need to come up with some more, some more adjectives. Like I've seen butamus and fantabulastic and 
you know, a combination of words combined together. So, purtiful is one that we say around here. So anyway, that will be my Christmas and July stitching. So that's all I have for you today. Uh, wanted to just, I just decided I'm gonna take the time to do this today. So I'm not sure how it's all gonna pan out in the edit and put together, but there we go. Um, hope that by the time you see this, it will probably be after July 4th. And if so, I hope that you had a, a great day of celebrating um, if you do, and, um, hope that you have great plans for Christmas and July stitching or whatever, whatever kind of stitching, just as long as you're stitching and enjoying it and enjoying it. Um, I'm planning on here for the next few weeks of doing what I call me stitching and some me, me, just me me. I think sometimes we need to do that. So anyway, y'all have a great day and I will see you next time.